Good morning. It's been a bit going on this morning. I woke up and the wind was absolutely whistling through the trees of my house. I could hear it was cranking, so I waited it out. Then there was lightning and thunder for about an hour. It's been tipping down with rain. So I just sort of stayed in bed, had a coffee and kicked back for a while. So I've got out here a bit late, but I'm just pulling up on the reef now. You can see there's still a lot of rain around. Pretty sure it's drizzling now as we speak. But the swell is kind of down, so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get in where I need to. And we're going to have another shot at the kingfish. I still haven't got them dialed in. I'm not exactly sure what makes them tick, when they tick, times, tides, moons. I'm starting to get a bit of a picture in my head, but I'm still working on it. So the more I do this, the more I figure it out. That's basically how we figured out the snapper. We just kept on going and kept on going until we started to get a bit of a picture in our head. So I'm gonna pull around the side here and just have a look what it looks like and get a few casts in with a popper and see if we can't scare up a few kings. Oh, the swell's actually pretty mellow in here today. We'll get a few casts. This is exactly where I wanna be, like right here. Oh, except for that swell that's coming through at the back there. Oh yeah, let's get out of the way of that because that's not cool. Pretty sure I'll be okay here, but it ain't worth risking it, that's for sure. Yeah, mellowed out anyway. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm in. I'm in, look at that. <laughs> First cast, as if. Wow, so you saw that. I just started to motor away from that swell because the wind had sort of just wafted me in there a little bit. As I'm driving, this popper splashed across the surface and whack out straight in. King on. <laughs> As if. First cast. Well, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I haven't got anything set up. I haven't got my spare camera set up, so you're just going to have to make do with the head cam here. Is it even filming yet? I'm just keeping one eye on those swells because I really don't want to end up upside down. I might just motor out of here. Just motor out of here gently. I know there's a big sandy hole here. If I'm in this sandy hole, I know I'm pretty safe. I'll just bring this fish with me away from the reef anyway. It's probably not going to hurt him to come for a bit of a ride with me. Oh yeah, he's on. Oh, he's back off again. Wow, I don't believe that first cast. That's nuts. Oh, he's just dummy. He just did me on the belly pot. Oh, I'm not too happy about that. Took my popper and everything. All right, all right, I'm caught in disaster, but I just snapped off on my 30 pound. So now I'm whacking 20 out here. Oh, I can't believe he just did me on the belly. He just lunged underneath the belly pot there and the, the braid made contact with the sharp edge on that stainless there. And that was it all over. He looked like a half decent fish too. I think I might put another popper back on. I think that the poppers seems to really, the poppers seem to really get their attention with their splashing and so forth. Brings them in from a distance. So I've re-rigged up. I've re-rigged up. I haven't got any of those poppers, the same ones left. So I've got this Helco slide, I'll go whack that on. It's got a lot of rattle in it. So that should attract a bit of attention. But in this sandy hole, I know I'm pretty all right. See if I can get one on this stick bait. It's a bit awkward to cast. I'm kind of casting backhand here, which is not ideal. I cannot believe I hooked up first cast. That's just nuts. Uh, 
it's all quiet here i've been just peppering this section over here with casts i've tried plastics poppers stick baits silveries i've even chucked out a couple of bits of squid just to no avail so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the popper back on because that's what got the attention in the first place and i'm going to troll around behind the back of this reef here and go and have a look and see if i can find them somewhere else kings are very mobile and they'll be here then they're there then they're there they basically just follow the bait and obviously the closer they get to the bait the more the bait scatters and the more they got to follow it so i'll keep traveling and i'll have a popper out the back just slow trolling along and just see if we can't find them somewhere else i'm pretty devastated that i lost that one to be honest just dived down and my braid just sort of it was either the transducer or it was the edge of the burly pot but whatever it was it did me oh well that's fishing you don't always win fish on all right i was just trolling the popper i don't think it's a huge huge fish i was just trolling a popper along there just prospecting seeing if i can find them wow have a look at this water it is spectacular the water's mint it's not a big fish but let's hope it's a fish because that last one just dropped right at the vital stages i'm actually going to keep motoring and motor away from the edge of this reef here because i was kind of pushing my luck where i was driving there i, was, I certainly wouldn't park there but i thought i'd troll across the top of it because these kings like the shallow water and sure enough I don't even know if this is a king, this could be a tailor. I'm surprised you don't get more tailor in here, like the places where we fish here. Oh no, it's a little king, it's a little king. These wash zones are like traditional tailor setups, like if you're looking for tailor, this is the kind of places you'd look for them. It seems to me that wherever the kings are, the tailor aren't for some reason. All right, surely just let me land your boat. There you go, thank goodness. Okay. Just wanna get out the way a bit here. fish this little guy can go back Oop. i'll get the drain up and give you a look at what the the sort of country that we're fishing I'm getting out of here. The wind's just swung around southwest, and as it's been so unpredictable this morning with the storms and the thunder and everything, I'm gonna cut my losses while it's still good, because otherwise it's gonna be a rough old ride home. Just a short one today. Um, again, just more pieces of the puzzle, what I've learned. Poppers, they like poppers. Um, trolling poppers is a good way to prospect and find them, so I'll be doing a bit more of that in the future. And um, yeah, I'll just stick with it. Keep learning every time I come out. I got two today, one I didn't quite land because it was on the motor. Unfortunately, that was the bigger one, but so be it. I'll learn a bit and um, we'll keep at it until we sort of unlock them. And then, um, yeah, that'll be another tick in the box and we'll move on to something else. If you like our videos, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks everyone for watching.